My name is Kenji Akiniwa. I graduated from uh, Nippon Dental College. I graduated in 1975. When I was a student, uh, just uh, 45 years ago, mm -hmm. we had a meeting in a college. Mm -hmm which was a nationwide meeting and uh, promoters of water fluoridation came from the one province of the, uh, Japan. In that time, fluoride is very good for us in body as well as teeth, but uh, it was the first time to know about the dental fluoridation. So after I graduated from the college, I have a chance to visit uh, uh, such endemic fluoridation area. I was very uh, shocked. The boys and girls was, were uh, affected with very severe dental fluoridation. I don't know exactly about the reason such disease. Afterwards, the concentration of fluoride is a little bit high. Only 1.2 to from 1.2 to 1.5 ppm. Mm -hmm. Japanese limitation of fluoride concentration is 0.0 or 0.8 ppm. So the fluoride concentration is only two times high so in such case, we provoke the, we cause the dental fluoridation. It was also a uh, shock to me. This was the second time. So the last one is that uh, after graduation of my college, I was invited to make a, a campaign uh, to promote the water flood fluoridation mm -hmm. in the, some part of the uh, uh, province. So we have two places which was fluoridated, uh, fluoridated area. One is uh, around Kyoto, suburban area of Kyoto, uh, which was fluoridated from 90, early 90s to early 60s during 11 and 7 months long. The another one is uh, from uh, 1969 to 1972 during three years. I don't know the exact reason why uh, they were stopped for addition. Uh, another case is uh, uh, in Okinawa Island, which was controlled by the United States. I don't know exactly uh, the process and the age which has started. Maybe in 1950, early 50s, started fluoridation and continued during 20, almost 20 years because the Okinawa Island uh, belonged to the mainland of Japan. In 1950, uh, in 1972, we have uh, almost uh, three uh, fluoridated areas, but now we have no any uh, such area. The promoters in Japan, every time and every year, they are uh, thinking about. Uh, Fluoride mouth solution must be the second best toward the water fluoridation. So nowadays, ex ex uh, during uh, uh, 20 or 3 years, we are fighting for the uh, school based mouth dancing um, program and especially topical application fluoride, not the water fluoridation, but the topical use of fluoride. So, uh, 
you fighting against that or, or for that? Yeah. You're fighting against the topical applications? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also studied and investigated the uh, uh, concentration of the uh, human body, such as urine and the blood. Mm -hmm. And I studied uh, uh, when I was at university. But uh, nowadays, after I retired the university, I, uh, I have resigned such an examination. <coughs> nowadays, I using the uh, statistical point of view, uh, and uh, dental for this might be the one of the uh, biomarker of uh, very, very important uh, fluoride connect linked disease such as uh, bone fracture as well as uh, cancer incidence. It's my uh, study uh, this uh, five years. Mm -hmm. Japanese Society Fluoride Research was established in 1983 the 36th meeting in November, last week in Japan. Mm -hmm. And we have a journal once a year. Mm -hmm. The Journal of uh, Japanese Society for Fluoride Research. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you about the, the topic. Okay, so there's a topical application program in Japan. Is that is that happen? It happens in the schools. Is that yeah. correct? Mm. And how many times a week? Once or twice a week? How many times a week do they do that? Uh, usually, uh, it started uh, uh, application of uh, 250 ppm every day. Every day means uh, five days a week. And uh, including uh, kindergarten, a very young child from fourth to uh, fifteen years old. Uh, they said it's very, very. They said uh, it's very effective. Effective, but uh, the report uh -huh. clearly <laughs> shows the ineffective data. Oh, oh the, the decreasing rate. It's almost the same, Nation, nationwide, uh, as a nationwide uh, decreasing rate. Mm -hmm. it's not, there is no difference. So in the areas that didn't have the mouth rinse, the tooth decay also went down? Yeah, yeah, almost the same. Almost the same. Mm -hmm. And then, but in two years ago, they all of a sudden decided this wasn't a high enough concentration. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they said we have to go to 900 parts per million. Yes, yes, yes. So in other words, they were wrong for all those years, yeah, yeah, yes. basically. <laughs> yes, yes. They sort of admitted it. Yes. I think it's uh, uh, only a test case, uh, examination, mm -hmm. such a long time. Well, it, it expanded to the whole country over that period of time, right? Mm, yeah. From 1975 up until two years ago, the whole program expanded to different parts of Japan. Yes. Uh, I think it's... Uh, uh, almost uh, ten, it reaches about uh, ten percent of uh, uh, student, including uh, very young child and uh, uh, middle school, middle high school. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, population reaches about uh, one point one uh, zero point one four me uh, no 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 fifteen. Hundred million, it reaches about population. So, oh. ten fifteen percent of the Chinese of the Japanese uh, students get yes. to get the mouth rinse, get the mouth rinse today. Yeah. So even ten though plus. even even though expanded over the whole country, they didn't get it expanded that very far. It's only so nationwide in Japan. Yeah, but only ten to fifteen percent. It's not, they really didn't expand. Ten, that only far. ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah. Now, why didn't ex why did it not expand to? Much higher percentage of the school children. If it would. Because one is uh, very, very uh, suspicious about uh, oh. fluoride. And also, the uh, jurist, you, do you know the jurist, the association of the uh, jurist? Uh, the judges? Jurist. 
and uh, law lawyers or oh, lawyer. say some kind of uh, uh, specialist for the law mm -hmm. uh, made a statement two t two times. It is uh, uh, violence for the human rights. This is very effective. So I think it's a uh, uh, journalist and also uh, TV has uh, spoken about the statement in that point of view, but uh, not so much, not so many journalists are interested in this problem. So, so in other words, there is public resistance against the fluoride mouth rinse program. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, correct. But, and in the, in the influence, and the public would influence local governments to say, no, don't start that up in our school. Yes, but uh, especially uh, there are many teachers in the school are against such a problem. Yeah. Together with us, almost 40 years. Hmm. We have a 40 years history. Now, why, why do you, the topic application is generally seen as not really uh, that bad because you're not swallowing it. Why, why do you feel that the topic application of a fluoride mouth rinse is, is, is undesirable? Why do you think that's should desirable? Not be done? Why, do you, why do you think it should not be done? Oh, because uh, <clears throat> it's very high concentration compared with the uh, water fluoridation, it is uh, 1 ppm and uh, especially uh, tooth mouth uh, uh, fluoride to toothpaste is around, uh, in Japan, around uh, 1000 ppm. So the concentration of in the blood uh, reaches about uh, four times high compared to the normal case. So such a high concentration attacks the enzyme. Especially, it is very important, the peak level, not the continuous average level. Peak, con uh, peak level is very important. So, so it's uh, too much risky toward the uh, enzyme system for the body, not only the tooth formation, but also another. There are many, many enzymes inside our body. That increase in the fluoride blood level it happens just from using a fluoride mouth rinse, is that, yeah. is that right? Okay. So we have another source to absorb the fluoride. It's, it's not different from the nutrition or uh, some kind of food. Has, has there been any increase in dental fluorosis in Japan? Yes, the report which was uh, performed by the pedodontics, uh, which is uh, uh, the dentist which is, uh, who are engaged in the uh, child, reported many cases of increasing dental fluorosis. Not so severe, but the slight or mild case is increasing. They said that uh, the reason why topical use, it's especially in the home use every day, so-called fluoridated gel. Gel means uh, uh, just like uh, paste on the tooth every day, the mother. Uh, care the young child. So absorption, it's rather high concentration. Absorption rate reaches about, in case of two or three years, almost half, or less than 50. Uh, the average case is 40%. It's very, very uh, high amount of fluoride will be in, taken into the body. This is from fluoride toothpaste, right? Toothpaste also. I mean the fluoride gel. Gel means it's not that different from the paste. But uh, Why is it called different? Why is it only, called only put on the 
to, on the surface of the... Oh, just directly yeah, applied? Yeah, directly, yeah. It's also be, uh, very high concentration. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Now, you've heard of the fluoride varnish they use in the United States? It's I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Paint, painted on the teeth? Yeah. The almost uh, fluoride uh, painted uh, varnish uh, broke into pieces after the uh, it it uh, it remained months uh, several days or several weeks but after that it will be broken and uh, all all of them uh, will be absorbed into the body mm -hmm. it sounds like fluoride varnish could be a source of fluoride for dental fluorosis if it's getting a, it's coming off the teeth after a few weeks and the body is, the child is probably swallowing it. Do you think that could be a source of a significant fluoride source that could mm -hmm. cause dental mm -hmm. fluorosis? Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, one of the reasons, not only uh, the total fluoride intake increases by uh, using by uh, fluoride uh, paste. I visited China many times to investigate uh, the fluoride schedule as well as dental fluoride and uh, almost uh, 30 years because we, are, we have very close uh, relation between Chinese uh, researchers of fluoride and uh, Japanese researchers. It was uh, in that day, 30 years ago, it's a severe, we, we, uh, they have a severe patient uh, who are affected by the fluorolis toxic effect. And nowadays, after 30 years, very, very few. And uh, the researcher from uh, China who had the presentation uh, yesterday, uh, no, no, the day before yesterday, he said that uh, endemic disease completely controlled. The patient will disappear within two or three years, they said. Actually, still many patients in China, there are, there are many patients, but uh, Indian case is more uh, serious, I think. Chemical fluoride is very toxic, more than natural one. And why is that? Because uh, chemical fluoride, sodium fluoride, uh, is uh, easily uh, to uh, separate to the iron, uh, fluoride iron, and also natrium iron, almost uh, uh, perfectly 100 pp and 100 percent. We have many researchers and uh, many scientists uh, who had passed away, so I am a student of them. So I must uh, uh, teach uh, younger researchers, but younger researchers is not very few in Japan <laughs> who are interested in toxic effect of fluoride. Mm -hmm. It's a problem uh, of uh, our society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.